Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. In this video, I will teach you how to handle help desk calls. It's going to be very simple to follow. I have broken this down into five simple steps for you to learn. Number one is readiness. Number two is customer service. Number three is knowledge. Number four is efficiency. And number five is closing. All of these steps are incredibly important and are crucial to know in order to be best at help desk. Friends, if you have a second to click that like button, I really appreciate it. That way I don't have to bug you with any ads at this point. It really makes a huge difference for my channel. Thank you so much and let's get into it. As a quick summary, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you and go through all of these steps with you, explain to you what I mean with each one of those steps, and then I'm going to show you an example phone call that I will make that is going to give in a really good example on how you should be handling calls. And although requirements for the company you work for may be slightly different or have specific requirements, you can certainly take that and adjust this format to that. This way you have a base to work with and you have experience on knowing how to do the call. All you got to do is just make simple adjustments according to what the company or your employer wants. Number one, readiness. This simply means that you should be ready to take the call at any moment. The best way to go about this is to pull up all the systems that you are going to use throughout the day. For example, let's say you are doing a help desk and the majority of the day is people calling in to reset the passwords. Well, you should have that system up and logged into at any time, whether it's Active Directory or some kind of proprietary system that the business you work for gives you access to. So you should have that ready. Got to be ready to take the call at any time. Pull up the systems, be ready to take that call. This will make it a lot easier for you to do your job. And number two, we have customer service. Customer service is incredibly important. You got to be ready to show some kind of professionalism when answering calls. It's not as simple as saying hello and then the other person on the other line has to guess whether they got the right number or not. You got to be ready with go to customer service by introducing yourself, making sure that you're polite. You don't have to be overly polite. It is just basic customer service. This is not a sales line or anything like that. You just have to have basic customer service to show that you're a professional and that you are friendly and polite. This is incredibly important, especially if you're working as a contractor for somebody and the client wants that type of service. Trust me, they're going to review your calls and if you don't have good customer service, you're going to be in trouble. But don't worry, I will show you a really good example on how to do this. And number three, we have knowledge. Once you have good knowledge, it's going to be a lot easier to handle any call that comes through. This way, you don't have to struggle into trying to figure out what the problem is. It's one thing to reset passwords because it's simple type and click. While, on the other hand, if you don't know how to resolve computer issues, you may have a hard time in handling any calls, let alone health desk calls. So it's incredibly important to educate yourself as much as you can with any resources that you have. One example of the resources is my channel. I have a list of help desk guides that you can check out. There's a link in the description. I will also try to put a link that pops up there if you want to check that out. But either way, learn as much as you can about technology so that way you can resolve issues in an efficient manner, which leads me to number four, which is efficiency. Efficiency ties in with everything that I've talked about so far readiness, customer service, and knowledge. Once you have all three of those things down, you should have the efficiency down easily. So the main thing in this course is to learn the first three things of this, and then the efficiency just comes by itself. All right, now let's talk about this last part, and that is closing. At number five, we have closing, and for the right reason. Once you resolve issues, you want to have a really nice closing and that is reflected in the way you greet the customer at the end. You want to make sure that the customer or user has a good experience when it comes to calling help desk. You want to make sure that they're comfortable calling the help desk and that of course is part of the customer service, but the customer service is not there just throughout the call, but at the end of the call as well. And now it's time for our mock-up call. What I'm going to show you is an example on how to handle a help desk call in a professional manner. Make sure you watch the whole thing. And if you like it, please share it with friends and ask them what they think. All right, let's do it. Thank you for calling Tech Support. My name is Irvin. Uh, what can I assist you with today? 
hi, I, uh, I, I, for some reason I can't log in to Outlook. Outlook keeps asking me for a password. I don't know why. I, uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Sure. Does it, um, does it, uh, give you an issue whenever you try to log in anything else or is this just this specific system? Uh, let me, let me try. I, I think it's just Outlook, but I'm not sure. I don't even know why Outlook keeps asking me for the password, but I think it's just Outlook. Let me try something else. Oh yeah. Yeah. This, um, Oh uh, yeah, this other system is also giving me problems. It keeps asking for the password. I don't know why. I did have a little trouble. Uh, like I may have like mistyped the password this morning. Okay. Well, no problem. Let times. me uh, let me look up your account. Uh, what is your login ID for this? My login ID is Irvin underscore uh, C A N. Okay. All right. I got it pulled up here. Okay. Yeah. It does show. It does show you're locked out. Uh, and I do show that it happened around 10 a.m. this morning. Oh, oh yeah. So, I, oh man. Okay. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, that that time I tried to log in a few times into the computer, but it it wouldn't take my password. I, I I recently changed it. I think I changed it like a couple of days ago. So I may have mistyped it a couple of times. Is that why? Oh yeah, that makes sense. So happening? Uh, if, if you mistype password once, you don't want to keep trying it usually it locks out after you try more than three times uh, but it's not a problem I can unlock you uh, would you like me to reset the password as well or do you just uh, want to give it a shot without me resetting if you it? can uh, if you can unlock me that would be great I'd like to see if I can because uh, I don't feel like changing the password again you know how it is it's like you, you try to like come up with a new password and then it, it's like you're just sitting there trying to figure out well which one do I want to use this time like you know so uh, yeah, if you can just unlock me, that would be great. Okay, no problem. I uh, I have it unlocked right now. I want to want to give it a shot and see if it works. All right, hold on. Let me uh, let me try this here. Okay, I I think I'm good now. Outlook came up now, and it's uh, okay. It looks yeah, okay. My new <laughs> emails are coming through. So okay, great. Uh, that's good. I. I uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, no problem, no problem. I'm I'm glad to help. I'm glad that worked out for you. Uh, is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that is all. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. No problem. My pleasure. Thank you for calling Tech Support. You have a wonderful day. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it educational and useful. I hope it helps you get a job. That's kind of important as well. If you have a moment, please share this video with your friends. Leave a like or ask me any questions that you have in the comments below. And as always, for more help desk stuff, check out my channel. And in the description is a link to all the help desk guides that I have. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you, and you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.